Hey guys, Jim from Beast Mode Builds here. So, uh, a few years ago I started a project, uh, started the Civic project, and I was also working on my uh, Integra that I own. Um, well, that was the idea at the time, was I was going to build kind of both cars at the same time. Since then, I've kind of changed uh, the process. Obviously, uh, there's a bunch of Volkswagen videos out, so I've been working on that in the meantime as well. But I did do my Civic build, uh, and it did take quite a long time, uh, working on weekends, evenings, things like that. Uh, basically, this video is the start of that build. Now, it's a couple years old, uh, so keep that in mind. Things look a little bit different in my garage. It's kind of funny. But uh, what I was doing is I was uh, taking a CRV, pulling the uh, drivetrain out of it with the B20 motor that comes in those, and the all-wheel drive transmission that also comes with those. Uh, the idea was uh, I was going to update my Integra and make it all-wheel drive. Uh, I had a B-series motor that was already built in that that was pretty nasty, made about 650 of the wheels. Um, so I was pretty much going to all-wheel drive it with that at that point. Uh, I've since changed my mind. I'm going K-series with that thing, and uh, I'm going to put a billet motor in that, a couple different things. So that should be a nasty build coming up. But uh, I'm going to start uh, showing all the Civic stuff that I did. Uh, I've recently sent a bunch of pieces off to paint. Uh, the car is getting painted, uh, so it is actually running and able to drive at this point. Uh, I did not do a final tune on it. But uh, this is the first video where I'm just going to show some of the stuff that I went through. Uh, things have changed over time, but uh, stay tuned for some of the next videos then. Uh, they'll pop up so make sure you subscribe to be able to see uh, the rest of the videos that are coming up on this build so uh, don't forget to hit the like button for me as well uh, but here you go uh, this uh, will start with the CRV that I kind of gutted and ripped apart and sent off to scrap and uh, kind of the progression from there enjoy so I managed to do something I didn't think I would I'm able to get my wife out here working on the car. <laughs> Still in the process of ripping the engine out. So I am currently in the process of pulling the engine out of the CRV. You can see I got it almost the whole way out. Just getting ready to land it on the ground here in a minute. I can't film it. <laughs> to it at the same time working on my own today but uh still getting further along on, on the project you can see i got the crv out of the garage engine was pulled tranny was pulled got them apart got the engine up on the engine stand now it's just a matter of pulling it apart and rebuilding the thing Going through it piece by piece, making sure everything's good. Probably do the same with the tranny. Clean everything up, put it back together, make it go fast. Got quite a mess going. But here's all the internals out of the engine. Uh, got the pistons and stuff sitting here. Everything's pretty much in order. I <laughs> just ended up... Uh, running out of space to put stuff for right now but uh it's all there but just gets a good clean up everything looked really good when i pulled the engine apart uh even the pistons although cruddy once they're clean they're in perfect condition i believe uh there's no nicks no marks on them so should be good I'll uh, certainly go through them and inspect them and make sure that everything's good with it before I put it back in, but uh, so far so good. So I've got the engine out, got it all cleaned up, put a little bit of a paint job on it. Came out pretty nice, I think. So it's well on its way. Working on the head. Got all the uh, mating surfaces cleaned up. You can tell. Made some progress. So, 
Head needs a lot more work to clean it up. Maybe put a paint job on. I'm not sure. Uh, more than likely, I will. Uh, Got to just clean up the cams and stuff a little bit more. The drive, the valve train. Uh, just go through, re-clean it one more time. Got most of the crap out of it, but uh, it's well on its way. Well, guys, I just. Uh, Tore apart the head on the B20. You see I took out the entire valve train. I ended up uh, taking out all the valves. I plan to port and polish this head. I know it's a B20, but uh, a little funky in there. It's never going to make huge horsepower, but it should make decent horsepower. But and polish it, it'll make it a lot better uh, than it normally would be. So I'm going to take the time to do that. Um, to get these valve springs out, they make these little tools like that, but unfortunately they really don't fit in a Honda head, or, well, I shouldn't say any Honda head, but some of the B-series Honda heads and different ones, they don't seem to work very good. So I quickly... Uh, I had one of these sitting around, so I quickly modified it, just made it so uh, this top would actually fit down over top of the uh, the retainers, and then you just squeeze the handle, and it compresses the spring pretty nice. Then you can loosen it and it tight it, tighten it uh, with a little adjustment back there. Worked out pretty good, actually. I was pretty surprised how well it actually worked. So, you can pick one of them up almost anywhere, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of the big name stores. Um, I think they carry those. And then I modified it with just some pieces of metal I had sitting around the shop. Welded them up and didn't do a pretty job because I slammed it together real quick. It only took me like maybe 15, 20 minutes, but uh, saved me a lot of extra work. Made it really easy to get these valves out and uh probably will make it really easy to put them back in too so that is a lifesaver right there so just wanted to give a little update on uh the progress i'm making so it's only been you know a couple weeks now here and there of working on it got pretty far along Hey guys, so I started working on the B20 head. I wasn't planning on porting and polishing this thing, but the more I thought about it, since I have the thing off and torn down anyways, I figured, what the heck, I might as well go to town a little bit on it and get it ported out and stuff. Uh, just make it flow better, just for, uh, it, it, it makes it safer for the engine too, just because it doesn't create hot spots, stuff like that, so figured uh might as well go through it here's the ports before porting they look pretty rough because uh there's a lot of carbon deposits still in there but gives you an idea you can see it but you get the general idea on the shape and you can see all the marks on the side from casting that's what a stock B20 port looks like. And I kind of went to town on it. This is after a decent port job, I think. I'm no expert, but I've made a few engines flow pretty darn good. Uh, that one's got a little funky spot at the top. Still working on that one. It's the first set that I did. So I have some final cleaning up to do yet. You can see on the edges there's uh, some marks and stuff still in there, but generally it's the right shape. It's mostly smoothed out, um, especially around the uh, the valves. Um, take a look at the stock ones again. You can see all the 
casting marks and the fact that it's just a much smaller hole generally. This is the exhaust side. So you can see the difference in the overall size. Much bigger port. You can kind of hog the exhaust side out a good bit on these guys and they'll flow like crazy. You really have to be careful on the inlet side. So this is just the exhaust side for now, so I'm not real worried about, you know, precision per se. I am and I'm not. Um, but on the intake side, I'll take a lot more time and a lot more care in exactly how I shape the thing and whatnot. Here, we just want to get the exhaust out as quickly as possible and keep it as straight as possible. Be able to spool the turbo and to get a nice pulse going down through the exhaust for good quality flow. So you still want it nice and straight, but you got a lot more leeway on the exhaust side. But so far, so good, I think. Making progress. Here's a uh, view from the top. Maybe you can see it. It's a little too bright, maybe, but... Stock. Ported. It's just a rounder shape. It's more cleared out. This is kind of abrupt. It kind of goes in and goes right into that valve, <laughs> so... You can imagine that would kind of stop the airflow. Sorry about the shakiness. Here it'll kind of nicely and smoothly go out and around it. So, that's the beginning. Started two. Got two more to go on the exhaust, and then I'll go to the intake and show you that then. Hi guys. All right, so I've been working on the head uh, quite a bit, doing some more port work. Got my uh, new header flange in. Uh, got these little pieces that transition it from the oval to this to uh, a round. It's kind of nice. Um, I usually make my uh, pipes. I just clamp them down until they actually go to that shape anyway. But. Uh, Figured, what the hell, I'll give this a try and see if I like them or not. Has a nice little recess in there, so I was kind of happy about that. I'll replace these nasty looking bolts, but one of the bolt it down in place and uh, be able to finish the port job. Wow, that came out bright. So, I uh, port match this to the header flange. I think it came out pretty good. Just finished getting it polished up. Um, didn't do like a final polish, but <laughs> it's already pretty damn good. So I'm pretty happy with how this port came out. Looks like uh, looks like it's gonna flow really well. This one is not gasket matched. You can see, uh, or matched to the flange rather. Because the gasket's actually a little smaller than the flange anyway. But that's okay because I'll uh, port that out to match the, the flange anyway. But got all the cylinders ported. Or the uh, exhaust uh, ports ported on all four. Cleaned up pretty good. This is the first one I went through and actually gasket matched. So I thought it came out pretty nice. I'll go through and do the rest, and then get started on the intake side. So, I forgot to film a couple things, but I'm going to right now. Um, almost uh, forgot to film the intake side that I'm porting on this head. Uh, figured I ought to show that. In the meantime, uh, doing all this port work, I ended up burning up. I'll swap this. Ended up burning up my old compressor. Uh, pretty much just couldn't handle anything anymore. Uh, 
too much abuse from all the uh, port work. So I ended up buying a uh, new compressor and installing that. Came out pretty good. A little 60 gallon. Uh, should do more than enough for my shop and everything I'm going to be doing. Paint work, the whole deal. So, uh, figured I might as well show you the head though. So, I started uh, porting some of these intakes. Didn't do all of it yet, obviously. Still a lot of casting flash in there. But, this is pretty much how they start. Lots of casting flash. I already cleaned a tiny bit off. Realized I didn't film any of it, so probably figured I should. So that's how they start. Pretty gnarly. But as far as a factory intake goes, they're pretty good to begin with. So, I'll uh, keep going and show you a little later how it comes out. 